Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a bit of a combo video. So normally I do like favorites videos and then sort of a separate gift guide type thing. This video, we're actually gonna combine sort of both. So my favorites, many of them would also make good gifts. So I thought instead of filming separate videos, doing like a gift guide and favorites, I would just kind of combine them. I feel like it should be fairly obvious. There's a couple of things in here that you might not want to actually give as a gift, but I'm including in my favorites. As always, everything will be linked down below in the description box for you. So it will be easy to find. Let's get on with it. I am losing light very quickly. Okay. I've got sort of a smattering of things, some beauty stuff, lifestyle stuff, uh, just a whole bunch. So I'm gonna try to break it up into categories to make it a little bit easier for y'all. The first thing I'm gonna share with you just because I'm wearing it and I don't wanna forget is this Victoria Emerson watch band. So I actually purchased uh, two different ones of these and she was having a really good sale. I've seen these a ton. I've seen tons of people wear them, share about them. I just had never purchased one, uh, but I did. And we can talk about that in a later video. I don't wanna bog this video down with it, but I did end up getting an Apple watch instead of my Garmin. We can talk about that. I wanted to try one of these and I absolutely love them. This is kind of a wrap one, so there's a lot going on here, but I do have another one where the watch would just go in here. So, I mean, it's still always gonna be a thicker watch band that looks more like a piece of jewelry, but there are tons of different options on her website, so many different options. So I think uh, this is gonna become something that I'm probably gonna want more of. And I feel like she often does sales that are like buy one, get one 50% off. I know like when seasons change, too they'll you know they'll she'll put like some she like I know her or even know if Victoria Emerson is actually a person I don't know but the brand will often put some of them on really good sale so anyways I will link it down below for you guys but I love this watch band it's absolutely beautiful and it's really fun and kind of makes it look like you put in more effort than you did because you throw that on and it looks like you got a bunch of pretty jewelry on even when it's just a watch. Okay, that's all I have for jewelry in this video, though I have a couple of items that are coming. They're gonna be part of another Christmas um, gift guide that I'm gonna be doing and they've shipped, but they've not arrived and I wanna show them to you in person. So stay tuned because a few more jewelry pieces that I think would be fabulous gifts um, will be coming up soon in a future video. The most exciting part of this video to me personally, um, today's video is actually sponsored by Beauty Pie. Ah! If y'all have been watching any of my favorites videos for like the last mm, four months or so, you've heard me talk about Beauty Pie in pretty much every single one of them. I love Beauty Pie and I was so thrilled when they reached out about sponsoring today's video. I love when I get to work with some of my very favorite brands. And just in case you haven't seen any of my previous videos where I've shared about Beauty Pie, they're like a buyer's club basically for beauty products. So when you join, when you get a membership with Beauty Pie, you then get access to really, really luxurious, high quality skincare, beauty, candles, wellness products. And basically you don't have to pay any of the markup for the middleman essentially. So you end up getting the products at basically up to 75% off of their normal retail price. And the company was launched back in 2016, basically with the idea that they were going to bring these really luxurious high-end products to us as consumers at a much more reasonable price point without the like 10 times markup that you're gonna get um, with some of the higher end brands. So basically your membership gets you kind of like an all access pass to shop on their site. Um, now you can shop without a membership, you're gonna pay full price for the product. So it obviously makes a lot of sense to buy the membership. Um, I chose to do the annual membership a uh, number of months ago and I'm, Excited to include in this video because I think that purchasing someone a Beauty Pie membership would be a fantastic Christmas gift. Um, you could purchase them a membership and then one of the like body care things or candles that I'm gonna show you. And I think that would make such a wonderful gift. So Beauty Pie Plus is their annual membership. It's $59 a year. And with that membership, then you get access to purchase those products at the discounted member price, which is gonna be up to 75% off of what the retail price would be. And let me just tell you, cause I have for months now, how incredible these products are. I've switched pretty much all of my skincare over to Beauty Pie. Let me show you just a few of my favorites and I'll share a few things that I also think would make great gifts. So this is the Beauty Pie All-in-Wonder Illuminating Primer. I love putting this on all over before I put on the rest of my makeup. It just gives my skin a nice healthy glow and I can use this whether I'm gonna be putting foundation on top or not. If I just wanna put this on, a little concealer and mascara and go. Love this product so much. The other product I have been absolutely loving is this cream blush. 
Y'all know I prefer cream products for the most part. This is the Super Cheek Bare Blush, I believe is the shade. It's an absolutely beautiful cream blush. I love this tone for fall, winter, um, this kind of more purpley tone blush. It's a beautiful product, y'all. I just, I can't say enough good things about the products. Um, some of my favorites in terms of skincare is I love this Beauty Pie Super Retinol Plus Vitamin C. This is a night renewal moisturizer. As you know, the big things in your skincare routine, you should be doing vitamin C and sunscreen during the day and then retinol type products in the evening. And so I love that this actually is giving you a little bit of extra boost of vitamin C along with the retinol at night. I wish I could think of another word. I should get a thesaurus. <laughs> it feels so luxurious and it just, it feels so good on my skin. My skin feels so hydrated. And speaking of my other favorite product, which I've been talking about for months is this Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream. Like I said, there are things that I will spend money on in terms of like skincare because I've just realized how important that is in terms of anti-aging. The better you can do with your skincare, and honestly, I wish I could go back to like my 25 year old self and wear sunscreen, wash your face, um, but I can't. So I'm doing the best I can now and I love these products. In terms of like gifting, they have some really beautiful body wash and body lotion. I feel like these are a little easier to gift than like a retinol is because people are like, why are you trying to give me a retinol? You think I'm frankly, um, unless you know the person and you know that they would appreciate it. Like I could give that to my mom and she would not be offended. In case you're worried about that, you can definitely stick with some of the other things that are like makeup-y things or bath product type things. So I cannot begin to tell you how incredible the scents are. And I think that's part of what contributes to the very high-end luxury feel of all of their products is not just the great ingredients, but the scents that they use. You know, you can tell the difference between a cheapy scent and something that you would pay a lot of money for at a very nice uh, spa or something. This scent, Love, is this scent, and it, I wish I could come up, it's, it's not overpowering at all, it's just that very light scent I don't think anybody would be offended by at all. These products, they work so, so well. I, and I know y'all have heard me talk about their candles. I cannot get enough of their candles. Every single month I place an order and it, I always buy at least one or two new candles. They are just, oh God, this one, I haven't even burned this one yet, Florosa. 60 hour burn time on these candles. The candles look beautiful. Again, these would make, and they all have like different you know, I've got one burning right behind me right here that's like a white jar. Uh, I got a red one in the living room. These are all over my house now, okay? So I use them in here, I use them all over the house. They smell so amazing. I really just wish YouTube could get me like some smell of vision going in here because I feel like you're just gonna have to take my word for it. And I don't like that. I want you to be able to smell it because it smells so amazing. I also have been using the 100% Silk Hair Scrunchies from Beauty Pie. I use these at night when I sleep. Get this cute little pouch that they come in. And this is actually my second pack of them. You will probably find them uh, littered all over my house. They're the perfect amount of stretch without being um, too stretchy or too tight. It's the perfect amount. They're just a beautiful little beige silk scrunchie. And of course, I do have a discount code for you guys. Check the description box if you want to get a Beauty Pie membership. If you want to try some of their products, you can gift a membership as well. Um, I'll put my code here on the screen. It's just Angela sent me. And I'll put it down below in the description box as well. I hope that you will trust me on this. You will not be disappointed. I love all the Beauty Pie products and I know that y'all will too. Let's keep going because the sun is setting fast. So I'm gonna take these directly off my feet, which might be gross, but that's okay to show you these adorable slippers. So these slippers are actually from Pottery Barn and um, you know, I have a slight sl slipper, slight slipper obsession. That did not roll off the tongue as easily as I'd hoped. I have a slight, something just fell out of that one. Gross. And I love these because they stay on your dilly dang feet, okay? I see all these cute big fluffy slippers people are always wearing all the time. The slipper has like a thick pad here, which makes you feel like you're walking on a marshmallow. So you're like, I will roll an ankle, okay? And then it doesn't grip your feet anywhere. So it's like my feet just slide right through them. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't just, I don't love those slippers as much. Um, so this pair and then a pair that I got from Kim Kardashian's brand Skims of all things. Um, I love those as well. I'll link them both, but I love these slippers. These would make a fantastic gift item. You know, whenever I hear Pottery Barn, I get like cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching in my mind, but I do think those slippers are actually decently priced, especially considering they're from Pottery Barn and they're insanely soft and lovely. Speaking of shoes, I don't know, I feel gross showing you guys shoes in here, but that's just the way it's gonna be. 
I will never, ever, 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 ever purchase another pair of sneakers from another brand again. That's probably a lie, but that's how I feel in my heart right now because I have never owned a pair of New Balance and these New Balance sneakers are the bomb. They are the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Wait, I mean, how did I miss out on this? How did I not know? And I just, I love the different print options. There's actually another print that I really like that I think I might get because they're also, I feel much more affordable than some of the other sneaker brands. I don't know if you would wanna necessarily give these as a gift. I guess it would just depend on the person, how well you knew them. If you know them well enough to know your sh their shoe size, then you can probably give them sneakers and they won't be offended. You could also slip them under the tree for yourself as well. They're so cute. I'll link the other color that I like. Um, I mean, if you, I have high arches, I have old lady feet, like I have, I have foot problems. <laughs> and these sneakers are just the best. Uh, if I could get away with wearing them every single day, I probably would. Speaking of like luxury things now, don't you go thinking that I went and spent the money on a Chanel bag, cause I didn't. This is not a Chanel bag, but did I trick you? Maybe, because it tricks me a little bit. I found this bag at H&M. Having a vintage Chanel has always been on sort of my dream wish list. I was in New York with a friend when she got hers. I, I just fell in love with it. It's such a beautiful classic bags, bag. It's one of those that you could pass down to your children. I am not yet buying myself a Chanel bag. However, I love the look of them and this bag was very affordable from H&M. It's got the gold chain. Um, and when I opened it, you know, I was kind of expecting it because I ordered it online. I was kind of expecting it to feel cheap and chintzy and I was, you know, going to return it if it was. When I opened it, I was like, dang, Gina, like this is nice. I, I wish I could explain to you how soft, buttery soft this bag is. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got the flap uh, and then you open it up. You've got two compartments in here. Oh, look, a tissue. Blow my nose. <laughs> Um, because y'all got a runny nose for like a month now, but plenty of space in here, plenty. Uh, I don't know what you would compare this to in terms of the actual Chanel bag in size, I'm not sure, um, but it's definitely not super tiny. It's going to be next to my head. It's a good size bag and it's absolutely beautiful. So I just wanted to share this with y'all because I felt like it was a killer deal. And if you love the look of Chanel bags, but it's not in your budget or you just refuse to spend the money on something that expensive, then definitely check out this bag from H&M because it's a, I don't want to say knockoff because I don't think it's trying to be a knockoff or even a dupe necessarily, but a sister, a cousin, um, a close friend of Chanel. Last couple things in terms of clothing. Um, I got this jacket from Walmart of all places. Well, a shacket. Someone pointed out <laughs> when messaged me was like, I can't believe we're all just calling it a shacket now and pretending like that's normal. And I'm like, you know, I just really do try to fight these things sometimes when I think they're ridiculous. But then there's other times where I'm just too tired. I'm getting old and tired, so fine. If you young people want to call it a shacket, I'll call it a shacket. But it's basically not quite a jacket, not quite a shirt. It's a little bit thicker than a shirt, thinner than a jacket, shacket. There you have it. This is one of those items that I could not believe was at Walmart. I saw it and I thought, that's really pretty. Does it actually look like that? And then when it came and the color was even better in person than it is online, I was like, oh, it's just beautiful. It's very classy looking, very beautiful. It is, I don't want to say oversized. I mean, I guess I, it is oversized because I got a small and I do feel like there's plenty of room in there. You could potentially size down or get your regular size, especially if you want to be able to wear it over a sweater, um, something like that. But it's just a beautiful jacket and the price point, I could not believe it. I need to stop going on and on, but just trust me, it's a fabulous jacket if you're looking for one. Okay, let's move on to home items. Uh, like I said, so some of these are not gonna be necessarily giftable things, but they're favorites and I wanted to share them. For example, I have purchased now two rugs by Chris Loves Julia. So if you follow Chris Loves Julia on Instagram, they are like designers, home renovators on Instagram. And I really like their style, um, as y'all have probably gathered from my house and things that um, as I'm redoing things, I really do like a little bit more moody rooms. I'm not afraid of darker wall colors, darker furniture, um, or more color and stuff. It's just, it's more, it's more fun to me. Anyway, so they design things very much in that uh, realm and I love so many of the things that they do. 
And so they did a rug collaboration. The rugs are for sale on Wayfair. They might be for sale other places, but I'll link them down below. I got one for the living room that's like, I think the color is called Tangerine Mist. And then I just got one for the entryway. I saw this rug and they were having an incredible sale. And so I went ahead and ordered it. To me, they are more in the affordable rug range, uh, especially depending on the size you're getting and stuff. And they are, I will tell you, they are like a very thin rug. So um, there's not, I don't know how to explain it, but it's it, there's not like fibers coming up. It's like a flat woven rug. And then you need to put like an anti-slip thing under it. And at first I thought, well, I'm not gonna like that. I want like a rug rug. And then I was like, but Angie, you have a million animals and a million children. You don't actually want a rug rug. And I've realized now that I've had the one in the living room, how much easier it is to clean, how much less it gets gunky from kids and animals. So I will link them. Definitely a favorite. I don't know that you wanna be gifting somebody a rug, but in terms of like homeware stuff, y'all, that crock pot that I picked up from the Drew Barrymore line, it's so beautiful. It, I mean, it crocks well, okay? It crocks, it's a crock pot, it crocks, it does all the crocking things well. It's also so pretty. And who knew that I wanted or needed a pretty crock pot in my life? But when it's on the counter and it's just cooking away, it just looks so pretty sitting there making taco soup. It's just, I love it so much and I think it would make a fabulous gift for yourself or for someone else. I know that if I opened that, especially because it's so unexpected, nobody's out there going, gee, I think I'd like to find a really pretty crock pot. Because we all know what crock pots look like. They always look the same. It's black, red. I don't even know that I've even seen white before. It's like stainless, black, sometimes red. That's it for crock pots. And this crock pot is just a matte white with gold embellishments and black, and it's just mwah, beautiful. I love it so much. And the Dutch oven. Y'all know I love to make the Dutch oven bread. My kids love the Dutch oven bread. I can never have too many Dutch ovens. I've gotten a couple of different ones, and I really like this one. It is heavy, but a good heavy Dutch oven is a good Dutch oven. So it's, again, absolutely beautiful. And the colors, I got mine in the sort of like light green color, uh, but the matte black one is so pretty pretty and I'm very tempted. I might just put it on my Christmas list and see if my husband decides to get it for me. And the last thing that I want to include in my favorites, because this was very unexpected for me. And if you already have one, already use one, then you're probably over there just going, <laughs> we've known this for years, Angie, like you're way behind the times. Fine. I'm fine with being behind the times. My Cricut machine, you guys, I had no idea how much I would enjoy that. I really didn't. And I have come up with just unthinkable amount of projects that I want to do with it now to the point that I think my family's like, calm down, lady. <laughs> Cause I just, I, I, first of all, the weeding process is incredibly therapeutic. Turn on some music, turn on a TV show, listen to a podcast and weed away. It's, I love it. And now my mind is just like going buzzing with ideas of things to do. I was in a Walmart earlier today getting some stuff for Noah's birthday cake and I went down the cricket aisle and I was like, oh, look at all the vinyls. I have like a ton of projects on my list to do with this thing, but I love it so much. So if you have a crafty person, or maybe you just want to add this to your Christmas list uh, and let your spouse know like, hey, holla, I'd like to try a Cricut. I will link the two different machines I have below. I don't have the Cricut Maker, which is the big one. I have the one down from that and the Easy Press, which is what you use for heat pressing. So like onto clothing or something like that. You know, it's like I want to personalize everything for the kids now. It's like I want to put their names on everything or water bottles and stuff. You don't have to be a super crafty person to be able to use it and enjoy it. Um, I've got mine like set up in my office now where I can, I'm getting ready to use it tonight as well for another project. So it could definitely make a good gift. Um, it could definitely make a good wish list item for yourself as well. So that's it for my sort of recent favorites and gift ideas. I'm going to have some more gift idea videos coming over the next few weeks. I'm trying to get these out earlier rather than later because I do know that things are um, selling out fast, shipping times, you know, I get it. I've been trying to get my kids presents wrapped up. Um, we, I started shopping for them a couple of months ago. So I'm trying to get things wrapped up and I know many of y'all are too. So I'm going to try to get as much of my gift idea content out to you uh, as quickly as I can so that uh, you won't be butting up against too many, you know, dead ends and timelines and such when trying to finish up all your Christmas shopping. Let me know down below in the comments if there's any specific video you really want to see soon. If you want to see a kid's video or husband's gift idea or something like that really soon, let me know so I can try to move them up the priority list. But uh, I do have some more coming, but that's it for this one. So I hope y'all are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.